Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Basics of Nodes in Unreal Engine 4. In today's episode, I'm going to be going over the print string node, what it is, how it works, and how we can use it in your game. And now this might be a very simple one for a lot of you, but this is also a very commonly used node in a lot of tutorials, which some people might not know how to use, because a lot of people don't explain it. So, it may be simple, but I'm going to go over what it is, and how you can really utilize it to help you in making your games. So the print string is just something we use for testing and debugging. But you may have seen it in a tutorial and you don't understand why they've used it or what it is doing. But like I said, this is only for testing, so it won't appear in your packaged game, or basically your exported game. Only you in the engine can see this. And what it does is it obviously prints a string in the top left corner into the engine viewport. And a string is essentially a sentence, so you just put loads of characters together to formulate a sentence which people can read. And so we can put anything into this string. So we can put anything from our health value to a boolean true or false value. And again, it's good for testing to see if, you, if your code is broken, you can go off. So if you have branches, you can go off false, put false off true, put true, put that in all of them. And then you can tell that if it prints that specific string, you know whereabouts in your code is broken. So you can focus on looking there and it commonly helps you find out exactly what is wrong. Or if you haven't set up anything visual to see something, for example, your vitals, so if you have stamina, health, hunger, anything like that, you can tell this without having to set up a HUD or a UI for that. You can just print a string for that value to test to see if your code has worked properly and you've coded it correctly. For example, if we have a health value and we want to decrease this so the player dies and test these values, we can. So what I'm going to do is come off of event tick here, so I get that, and then I'm just going to get a one second delay, so if I hold down D, left click, get this delay, I'm going to set the duration to one second like that. And then I'm going to get a branch to see if our health is above zero. So I hold down B, left click, and get a branch, plug that into the delay, the condition, I'm going to drag out and I'm going to get a greater than or equal to integer. So an integer is greater than or equal to an integer. The top value is going to be our health, which is a variable that I made earlier. Plug that in there like that. And the bottom value is going to be zero, as I want to see if this is above zero. Off of true, so if it is above zero, what I'm going to do is decrease our health. So if I drag that in again, set our health, drag off of this, I'm just going to have an integer minus an integer. And again, I'm going to get health in the top and minus one. So I'm going to be getting our health, taking one off of that, and then setting our health again. This is then going to be decreasing our health if we have more than zero. And so then after this, what I'm going to do is again, just get a print string. So print string, plug that in there. The in string is just going to be our health. So we can plug that in there. It will do an integer to string. And so now this will print our health on screen like so. And if you open this expandable thing here, you can change all these settings. So print to screen, which obviously we want. Print to log is the output log, which you get after you end the game. You can change the color of the text and the duration. So how long it is on screen for. You can change all that good stuff, but this is good for me for now. And then off a of false of this branch. So if we don't have enough health, so if we have zero health or less, what it's going to do is we just want this to kill the player. So again, I'm going to get a print string and call this dead. Obviously you'd have your own code, but again, for the print strings, this is all just for testing purposes. So if you don't have the death code set up yet, you just want this so you know the player is going to die. And so that should now be the code set up. So if we compile, save, minimize, hit play to test this, you can see up in the top right, we have four, three, two, one, as our health is decreasing, goes to zero, goes to minus one, and then it goes to dead. Now, why did that not work? That went to minus one before it went to dead. So let's check that out. And this is why it's good, because then we saw there that this didn't work as the print string told us what the value was, so we knew it wasn't working properly. And the reason we have that is because we have it as greater than or equal to zero. We just want this to be greater than zero or greater than or equal to one. So now if we do this and test it again, this should work. So four, three, two, one, zero, and now dead. So that worked perfectly. And as you can tell, the print string was really helpful there as we made a mistake in our code and it told us straight away. So that is why it's very useful to always test out with print strings or anything like that. It really quickly and easily finds a bug for you. So again, a print string is a very useful debugging tool or just tool for testing out your code or without having to go further beyond like creating your HUD to test it. You can just use a print string so you know that it has worked properly. And it is only shown in the engine editor not in your packaged or exported games. Now again, this may be an obvious note to a lot of you, but also some of you may not understand it, as you may have seen it a lot, but not understand what it is, or why it works, or why people are using it. So you might be like, oh, that's obvious, I know what that's doing, why are people are using this, then it's just going to show it in my game. Do I need it there if I take it out with a break? This should hopefully have explained that and covered all of those queries up for you. 
but I think that'll be it for this video on explaining what a print string node is. It's a very quick and easy one for you to do, so hopefully you understand it more now. If you don't, let me know down below and I can hopefully help you understand it a bit more, maybe give you a few more examples. And also put down there some further requests for future nodes you'd like me to explain, and I can get around to them soon. But thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.